Okay, our last chord is C. This one is a little complicated because you have to stretch your fingers kind of far out to make it work. So, our first finger is going to go on the fifth string down or the second one up, however you want to think of it. It's this one. And it's going to go right next to fret one. Now, my second finger, or my middle finger, is going to skip over this string and go up to the next string but it's by fret 2. So as I'm counting down, my middle finger is on the third one down or the fourth one up. So my first finger is here, my second finger is there. Now I have one more finger to put in place and that's my ring finger and that finger is going to go up one more string between 2 and 3. As close to 3 as you can get it. Now that's a very awkward hand position and for most of you it's going to seem a little weird. It might even hurt a little bit. So you have to really bend those fingers and come at the strings from the top rather than below. So again, first finger, second finger, third finger. Press them down nice and tight and you get a C chord.